<clears throat> Yo, what's going on, man? Welcome to the Count Dead Podcast. It's your... The hell, what the hell was that? <laughs> you joined in. <laughs> I just wanted to join in for that part. <laughs> hey, yo, it's your neighborhood middleman, Slim Key. I'm here with my boy, Devin HB. Here. We got King Nate back for a second time. Yo. You know, I got Jay Leno over here to the left of me. I got B3 here. behind the camera. And then on the music tonight, we got my boy, First Place. He in the building tonight. <laughs> What's going on, man? How y'all feeling? The weekend over, man. Now we here to start the week off. It's Monday. I'm feeling good. I ain't gonna lie, but I was I wasn't feeling down this week, but I was just trying to get the weekend over. I was trying to get get the to get the new week started, man. For sure. What? Nigga, why? Back to the what the fuck? No, no, let's hear his no, reason. No, no. That's not how, why he said that. So let's find out why he said that. <laughs> oh, oh no, no. The, you know, it's just the, the, the first of the month, man. Them bills hit you, man. You man, you you, you pay all you pay all them bills, man. You Facts. your pockets be a little hurt. Like you you, you be looking Facts. waiting for it. Wait, hey, waiting for the next jump. No gal, man. Bro, I didn't. I done paid a lot. <laughs> I done paid a lot. <laughs> Facts. So I'm cooling now. Ain't no more fun for me. For the rest of this week, I'm 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 cool. Yeah. So that's how my week going. How about y'all? Y'all, y'all ain't had no bills to pay. Yeah, they got. Yeah, they know. Them don't pay for sure. Them don't straight. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we all good. Had a bill come through the mail today. Yeah, man, we all good. No uh, you, you said what? Just had a bill come through the mail today. <laughs> yeah, man. Was it was it was it a bad one? No, no, no. It's, it's just something that we can take care right, of. But yeah, it's just yeah. always just a reminder of responsibility. You know? Yeah, man. I mean, bro, I, I, I kind of like it, but at the same time, it, it's bitter. It's bittersweet. Yeah. Watching sure. that money go, but knowing you got that money to do it for sure. That's, yeah. that's what it is. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it feels good know. to take care of it. But if I was homeless and I had a job, boy, if I was like living in my car, I'd be eating right now. <laughs> <laughs> No bill. No oh, bill. Oh my God. I'll be eating I all worry about my phone. Five star yeah. meals every night. I'll be I eating good in my backseat. I I every night. Every not night. Gonna, every good, night. I tell you that. Who not going to be sleeping good? Why not? Why not? Yeah, sure. I got some good sleep in my car before. Well, I can't do Maybe that. for now the third night in a row, but shit. <laughs> third night in a row. You homeless. <laughs> What the hell? You just got paid. You've been homeless for that whole time. You I ain't gonna lie. Sleeping good. I'm, 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 I'm sleeping. I'm sleeping. Probably get a room one time though. Yeah, probably once a week. You yeah, know, probably, probably get a room once a week. You feel me? I mean, I got enough money to do it. I got enough money to do it, man. Bro, want to be that? Cool, hey, bro, want to be that cool homeless nigga? <laughs> This is a such thing? Yeah. It's, it's, it's a, a such, such thing. thing. Yeah, yeah, like I told you, if, if you in LA, it's a such thing. It's a cool homeless nigga. Them niggas out here. Hell yeah, the, the nigga, the nigga. He said they call him a cool homeless nigga. They call him. He, he been coming up here for you years. Know he been around the stores and shit. Hell no, niggas know everybody. Don't nobody want them to come in their store. <laughs> get out. What you doing in here? Nah, you you going to buy something? You ain't going to buy nothing? Get out. Family. Fuck yeah, everybody, everybody, got everybody, everybody, yeah. everybody, everybody got a bike. Everybody got an ump. 40. Y'all already know. Everybody got a ump. They start letting him get that joint for free. He coming in there somewhere. Yeah. Fuck. Motherfucking um, on. The neighbors are about to say. Why you why you want to tag in on that? Tag <laughs> on, tag on. Uh, you ain't hear, hear him tag in on the intro. Nigga, nigga mad because I hopped in. No, 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 no. That joint just threw yeah. me off guard. That joint was like a dove was in the, the background. <laughs> you, you, you see what he did there. I was like, oh, that just... It just caught me off guard. That's all I'm saying. Nah, make it a, a, a duet? <laughs> nah, bro. That's not a normal thing. A duet? You feel it's me? It's the purpose it's was normal. just to throw you off that one time. Oh, damn. Yeah, you feel me? I see. might do it... On random time, you, know, you never know. Wow, that's like What's your new thing. Breaking a nigga. Yeah, that's your new thing now. Making sure he's shot. You feel me, nigga? My head hit it hezzy. Keeping me shot. Got to. I'm always shot. That on what is the camera? I looked over there like the camera was over there. <laughs> I'm always shot. That's just like bro earlier when bro said earlier. Might as well play the beat off what he just said. I'm always shot. That was the funniest shit ever. Um, but shit, man. Uh, uh, show and tell. Y'all want to? Y'all want the twins? Y'all want to show yeah. off? Twinsies. Hey, do y'all do the twins want to show off? I mean, this. I right, look. Turn, turn, turn. Come on, turn to the camera, man. Yeah, yeah, you yeah go ahead. Come on, come on over here. Twenty. Hop aside, go bro. Ahead. Who? Yeah, go ahead. Swing around. Right right right. Yeah, go ahead. Come right here. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Twenty, twenty. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, 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 slide over, slide over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boom. Boom! This the yeah. this the red the red tie dye. <laughs> <Red tie-dye. laughs> this, this the all red tie dye bandit brand shirt. We got, got the yellow Jones too. Yeah, we got the yellow Jones. I think I had the yellow Jones on too. 
Was it? It was either it was, last it was episode last week, or the last week. Oh, yeah, it was last week for sure. Yeah, so I mean, yeah, y'all seen that? Y'all see the Bandit Brand cap? We got a lot of that shit going on here. So you know, uh, go follow that. Go follow that page at Bandit Brand Clothing. Clothing. All right, cool. Go follow that on Instagram. And um, shit, man. Appreciate all the deadheads oh, tapping in, man. Follow we us. Plug the rest of this stuff in. We got to put the ladies going. Bro. Oh yeah, we got leggings too. We got that. I throw the picture up somewhere. You oh, know, that bitch will be there, and then yeah. Oh, you, you you already got the leggings in. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, what Damn, bro, what a, <laughs> bro, do y'all got all this shit in? Where's this shit at for show and tell, bro? Oh, it's in the car. Yeah. Damn. I, I did, like, I got a sneak peek at, at the shit. I ain't really get to see it, like, in person, but I seen, like, the, the design, and that shit look cool, man. I, I really can't wait for y'all to release that shit. And, um, yeah, I might call one of those from one of my shows. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna just read on next topic. Okay. Oh, nah. Check it away, Dad. Nigga shooting from the three. Take it away, Dad. I'm I'm shooting from the the three. My man ain't saying. Why be new album? Yeah, how y'all like that, Jane? Well, well, I honestly didn't hear it yet. I, I got it though. I got it though. It though. Hey, bro, what's up with y'all not listening to these albums, man? You ain't did y'all check out Detroit yet? No, oh, y'all, it's wild. Let me, see, let me see them scissors. I'm not really a big fan I of downloaded Big it, Sean. But you ain't a Big Sean fan? See, I, you definitely struck me as a Big Sean fan. Mm-hmm. Like uh, somebody who would listen to Big Sean. I I mean, I fuck, I used to fuck with him like heavy back like he's, family famous days. Yeah, he's... he's. I know okay. Big Sean got bars. Like, what, what you don't like about Big Sean? Boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I feel like nigga said that. No. Me, me personally, I feel like, I mean, he, he boy. kind of boring to me. Okay. Yeah, you think J. Cole boring? No, absolutely not. That's crazy. Absolutely not. Dang. I, but I can I, I can get what you're saying, Big Sean. Big Sean I can get what you're saying about you like, saying boring. I mean, yeah, Big Sean be more animated with his words. Though. I think he didn't got more animated, but I think I don't know. I, I get what you. I get what you. I get what you saying. I feel like J Cole is more like people probably say it's boring. I don't know. Maybe because he not talking about the. The regular, shit, but he, he talk, shit. but he talks about shit though. Like every song is about something. You know what I mean with J Cole? Like, nah, I think niggas say J J Cole to born. Me personally, vast majority of his songs. I, I think niggas say he born is is just the 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 style of rap he used. You feel me? I think that's why it's just that. You feel me? It's just it's just a common style of rap. Yeah, that's, you feel you me? Know? You feel me? I you know, but um, shit. But Big Sean, I don't know. I can't say he born. Big Sean, uh, Definitely me, like I think Big Sean, he way more clever than J Cole. I agree. I just think he way more clever. His wordplay. Of course, yeah. He just got. I would highly disagree. You, <laughs> oof. what? Ooh, I would disagree. What? I would, I would disagree. <laughs> huh? Huh? Yeah, I would disagree. I would disagree. I think I think J Cole can tell a story way better than Big Sean. Yeah. But Big Sean, as far as his wordplay and how he can craft a, a lot of his shit be forced to me too. Big Sean, a lot of his like reaches. Yeah. Reaches. But I think that's what he, that's his that's his that's his niche. You feel me? That's his niche. Like I'm all over the web. Like I got eight arms. You feel me? It's not. You feel I mean, me? No, shit like that is cool. But you know, sometimes it's like. I feel like I don't know. I feel like it'd be forced sometimes to me. J Cole shit to me is just like his his wordplay shit. It'd be so natural. I I, I just, feel that. I like, feel that. Know, like he said. Like he said in one song. Like you see how I flip like exclamation points or some shit. Like you know what I mean. Like shit like that is like like wow. Like you know what I mean. Like see how I flip like exclamation point. That shit fire. Like you know what I mean. That's that's crazy. You flip by upside down mm-hmm. exclamation. Point, you know what I mean. Shit like that be like it is just. It just flow. It just be natural. Like Big Sean to me, kind of. Would you would you would you appreciate a J J Cole Big Sean collab album? Would you I mean, yeah, would you I'm look not, forward not, to something like towards that? I mean, I'm not taking nothing away from Big Sean. You know, it's just like when it comes to like him dropping music or something like that. It's not it's not really nothing I kind of like gravitate to. I ain't gonna lie, I don't really gravitate uh, gravi- mm, gravitate towards Big Sean either. No, no more. Like, yeah, not, not really no more. Something I'm going to listen to, but I don't go to J Cole either. You feel me? J Cole drop something I'm, I'm listening to. It. Like, I ain't, but I ain't gonna lie, it's, it's, it ain't too many artists that I really like. Just <laughs> when they drop, I go listen to. Um, now I'm definitely um. I back to the Young Boy Jump. You ain't listening to Young Boy Jump again. What you mean again? Slacking. Hey man, I'm, I'm going over here to Nate then. 
I said I bro, got it. I just ain't getting it. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. Nah, no, my bad. You, you said something about Young Boy earlier. Yeah, his, no, his John was I, I, I fuck with Young Boy. I fuck with. I, see, I, I ain't. I feel like there's a but. Nah, it ain't no but. Like when I. Bro, it's gonna sound crazy. Like niggas probably get sad listening to Rod Wave and shit like that. Bro, I get in my feelings. I play Young Boy. Like, no cap. You know what I mean? Like, I fuck with Young Boy. That, that, like, can, that, that can definitely get you I out your feelings quick. I ain't, you know really, I mean? I ain't really been on the Rod Wave. What? I ain't really. I haven't finished listening to Young Boy album yet, but from what I heard, it's, tough. Like, it's a couple that, songs. With that that joint like, not slacking. Nah, I'm progressing. Snoop Dogg tough. I'm progressing. I heard the joint. I heard the joint with Lil Wayne. They I thought Lil Wayne verse was crazy. Don't get me wrong. I'm not. Don't murder, get me wrong. Murder business is tough. The the Wayne verse took a while for me to like for him to wrap me in like what he was doing. But after a while of him just like going in, I was like, this joint hard. I was like, he, he killing this joint. Like the wordplay in this joint, the lyrics, and like he killing this joint. He was eating that joint up. So I fuck with that joint. He's supposed to be coming out with a uh, No Sellers 3. That joint gonna be hard. I didn't even know he came out with two five years ago. What? Yeah, two had a uh, rolling and all that stuff on there. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, two was good. Two was actually good. Two was actually good. I think I think niggas slept on it at first, but I think it aged well. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of sleeping on three. I'm big sleep on three. Like, Y'all sleep on three? I don't think it's I'm gonna be a I'm big sleep on three, bro. I ain't Lil Wayne to me ain't been hot since. But he but he always delivered. You like D four. You gonna like it? Dedication four. D four probably was the last highly anticipated thing I wanted to hear from Wayne. Then when I heard D four, it didn't hit like that. I wasn't. D five, I didn't really care about. Fuck with the sorry for the wait. Hey, I fuck with both of them. Sorry for the wait. Sorry for the wait was hard, bro. Hard sorry for the wait was hard. <laughs> hard as a bitch. Sorry for the wait one and two was hard. Yeah, hard. That shit was hard. That's, they bro, came on shit like D four and D five. I didn't fuck with. I'm looking forward to to the next no series. Yeah, dedication three was the, probably the hardest. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. That's like D four was okay, but D five undersold because D three was so fire. Bro, I want to hear no selling three now. I, now that I know that's on the way, I, I'm looking forward to it. You looking forward to it? Yeah. So I want to hear that. I'm, I'm scared it's going to disappoint me. I think that's why it's I'm not scared. Nah, nah, it's definitely going to disappoint me. Nah, nah. Because I like Lil Wayne so much. It's not, it's, bro. I don't, got that, I, don't got that joint, I don't got that joint disappointing me, bro. Because there's so much stuff that came out that I'm like, bro, they're going to be hard with a Wayne verse. So many songs that came out, bro. And now I see, I don't why, know. I don't, now I see why he won't hop in on shit. I don't know what kind of rapper Wayne is in 2020. Like, his, his growth, it ain't really... I don't know what type of, like, growth he had type shit, you know? Does that make sense? I mean, it's I mean, it's not really no growth to him. He more so just doing what he do and spit. He just spit. That's uh, you know. like you feel me? Like it, I don't think he really care about his. Uh, he don't care about the swag no more. Like it, it, he don't do it to sound cool no more. He just spit now. He just do it to enjoy because he he likes he like rapping. You feel me? So and, and being that I, can st- I still be hearing he dropped a little joke this year with like three tracks. What yeah. what what call what? Uh, I forgot what it's called, but it's on Apple Music. He dropped a little joint this year with three tracks. I think I it. I think it had Young Boy on there. But yeah, he dropped a little joint with three uh with three tracks, and I think two out of the three was good. One of them was terrible. <clears throat> one of them jones was terrible. Yeah, I ain't gonna even lie. You let you down on one? Yeah, one of them jones. I was like, nah, I can't let this jones ride. Turn this off. If this jones was on the CD, I'd take the CD out and throw it out the window. Ah, yeah. Shit. Wow. I'm mad we not back in them days. Let's see how the streets like this. You <laughs> feel me? <laughs> but if we not back in them days, you can't throw your phone out the window. Nope. That costs too much. <laughs> what y'all think about that young boy album? Y'all ain't check it out yet? I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a big young Shaq? boy fan. I'm rocking with that. Wow. You rocking with that, Joe? Like oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think I think it's too long, but I'm not. It is a lot. Of, it is a lot. Of it's like 19, bro. What's up with all this long? Something bro, I don't like these long like, albums, bro. He, Why not? He got the clout to do it. I don't like 20. They yeah, they're gonna listen. Well, let me let me let me run it back. I, I like running back. I like long albums. Should be so short. I wanna if, I wanna put it on shuffle. If the if the if the uh if the song short. On the album, like if a lot of the songs are like a minute and like forty yeah. seconds and you know yeah. two minute songs, then I can I, I you know I understand you know why your album. He don't album. really make like one minute. Shit. But he don't. But he don't. If he don't really make. Good, you won't notice that though. He'll make like a three minute change song. But you you'll notice that that motherfucker long. If the album is good, like say for example, Rod Wave came out with it with a with a with a project and all his songs was 
four minutes long. Rod Wave was such a good such a good artist. Like you wouldn't really hear how long the song is, you would just hear the music, you know what I mean? But and then it'll be over. So like that four minutes will sound like two minutes of you because I, you enjoy this. I get what you're saying, but from a from a that's I think that's from a fan, being like I'm a fan of his music. From a nigga that's not I'm not a fan of Young Boy. Oh, okay. All right, so, so when I go into the album Yeah, when I go into the album and then I see one, two, three, four, and then ten songs, and then I scroll down. It's a whole nother ten songs. I'm like, oh shit! It's a lot of music to digest. It's a lot of music I gotta take in just to give an opinion, like give an opinion on this one album. And I was like, ah, I mean, I probably listened to that joint. I probably like over a month. I probably for real. I probably go listen to the songs like sound cool, like whichever name stand out to me, probably go check them Jones out first. And then whatever Jones niggas tell me about, probably go check them Jones out. But I doubt I'll listen to that whole Jones straight through. I feel like you just gotta put that Jones on shuffle. Yeah, you just gotta let it rock out with, with, as you would with any album, really. When, you I, 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 when I first get an album, I actually like to listen to it straight through. Some, yeah, well, I, like, I, I, honestly, some of the songs- Cause some Jones, some Jones, music, some Jones, Jones transition into the next song. Yeah, that too. Like a lot of them, a lot of artists, they'll they'll put it together like a storybook. You know what I'm saying? Every song will yeah. make sense. The previous song will make sense. I don't, yeah, yeah, yeah. Transition. I don't think artists do that these days. They don't. They don't. I don't, I don't think artists keep okay. albums cohesive like that these days. But that's okay. Which which is okay. But I think like it's a story album. Yeah, I don't think too many artists don't really put put songs. That's that's like some yay shit. You feel me? Like that's like some yay. And, and I'm, they, I'm I'm seeing more artists do it, but at the same time, I think mm-hmm. artists don't really care about the cohesiveness of an yeah, album. Because it, as long as it got bangers on it, listener is gonna go to what they want to listen. Yeah, to period. Yeah. If you hear a song, you be like, I'm not too crazy about it. You're not really gonna listen. Brother, to the this. listener is gonna listen to but whatever they, they want to listen to. Fact. Like, oh God, it's this my one right here. Yeah. You know, everybody got their different opinions. But you know what's gonna be crazy? Somebody's gonna like. Every song in that joint is gonna be liked by somebody. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 bro. It's, it's twenty songs, bro. But it's a lot of times, and it's, it's just because these artists have they have visuals out for the song already, so the visuals was out long before the and song. And that make you like the song so they, first. Yeah, so that's how they be, they be getting the streams up there. Don't, don't get me wrong. It's also, it's also streams. yeah, it's also a streaming uh, yeah. streaming game as well. The more songs on the album, because uh, you know, uh, 10 songs equal like 15,000 streams. I mean, 1,500 streams. So that's just like, if, if right. niggas, yeah, if, like, so... I'm not saying you can't put out an album that has eight or nine songs, but it's just when you got 10 songs and somebody download that album, that's 1500 right there. Off rip. Off rip. Without them even listening to it. With them just downloading that joint. Like if they buy the album, like you feel me? Like they ain't even got to listen to it. They just go buy the joint. That's 15. I think it just changed the game for me. No, but no, no, bro. It's not even, it's not even, you know what's crazy? That's not even sauce. A lot of this information is like public public but at the same time it, if you don't know the stream and shit then it's really hard like it like if you ain't got nobody telling it to you then you will just have to wait for that job to come across you one day because i mean it's a lot of bro it's a lot to get into with that bro it's a lot it's a lot it's a whole sound lot. like it could yeah you can str- strategically like set your album so like off the download i'm i'm it. it's crazy that we are uh, actually on this topic i wish my boy uh perk was uh on live right now because he don't really fuck he don't fuck with the stream and shit Real. Yeah, cause I mean, at the end of the day, bro, the streaming shit, bro, you still getting your money from the white man. You feel me? So it's still like you, you working for somebody. Like you still cashing in on your songs. Like you're not getting the full <coughs> potential. You, you're not getting the full like monetization of your song. You just get you getting money. you you are getting paid for, it, but you getting a, a you so not getting hundred percent. So how would you cut that? You're out? You getting like a tenth of a penny on that joint. You feel me? So how would you cut that out? I mean, the only way to cut it out, you have to be like, I mean, you don't have to be somebody like Drake, but you know, Drake got like his own radio station and shit like that. He can break his own songs so into rotation and shit. You had to have like your own station. Oh, like uh, you you had to have your own site, your own station. But even then, bro, it's. That's what you said. You want no, you won't have to, but it'd be better if you did, bro. bro it, like you but 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 money. but listen though, the artist paid a radio station to stream listen, it and it's your radio but, station. You pay yourself essentially. But but yeah. that's not that's not what happened. In, like Drake not getting paid for playing playing shit on his station. You feel me? That's yeah. his. He, he own it, so he not getting paid for I it. Mean, well, you know what I mean? He, but yeah. he not losing no money. But he not, though, right? Yeah, I mean he losing money because I mean he paying to keep the shit up to, to keep the shit, like he funding the shit. You feel me? I mean, well, he got well, other yeah. people paying. Yeah. You know what I'm saying to be on the radio, don't it? Or no, no, he, no. He break, no. He do what he want. He break his own artists. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure. I mean, if, if it was that easy to get on Drake plays, you know, playlist, then I'm pretty sure a lot of niggas be paying, up, paying that bread. Every nigga be on that joint. 
a lot of the times, bro, a lot of on these on these major albums, the the favorite <laughs> song, like you might hey. come across a song on an album that that don't have a star next to it on Apple Music, as as you know, what I'm saying? yeah, give people the people some familiarity. But um, star, you know, what I'm saying you might come across a song that don't have a star next you know, to John it. You know, John Hart. That John Hart. You know what I'm saying, like, bro? This is special. Not, not to uh, not to cut you off or nothing, but just going back to I like. Do. Like a like an artist like Drake, like he still fuck with the streaming services. You feel me? He still put his music on Apple Music. So as long as he doing that, everybody gonna follow suit. Drake, would you agree? Drake like the biggest artist out right now. Yeah, for sure. Long as long as a nigga like that is still putting his music out on streaming services, everybody gonna follow suit. I mean, that's 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 the wave. You feel me? Now, if somebody like that was to stop doing that and found a way to. <laughs> Make money off his own, like drop his own shit, bro. It's a, bro, that's that's a different game. You feel me? It'll change the game. Nobody will fuck with streaming services no more. True. Yeah, niggas. But that's but he but he not gonna do that. He got deals with these niggas. He got, you want a stream service? Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure you can make your own, John. But it's so you can't buy one though. If they sell it, <laughs> yeah. If they selling it, I mean, I'm yeah. pretty sure it's at least one garbage one that's out there for sale. Yeah, you can go ahead put some juice in. Yeah, it's pro- yeah, it's probably still worth a bag to buy that joint. Like if a nigga come to you trying to buy that joint, yeah, you gotta. I mean, I think I think the only the only artist doing something like that right now is what Jay Z with, with title, and he don't even put music out no more. And title is big, but it's not bigger than Apple Music. Nowhere near. It's I don't think title title not bigger than Spotify. It should be though. It should be. But it's they pay the artists the most. And yeah, yeah, you get the most money from uh, Spotify, but still, bro, you you still, bro, like still with that streaming shit. From title. I mean, not not Spotify, title. My bad. You get the most money from title, but even with that shit, bro, you still still waiting on the check. You feel me? Like you you not you can't go in that joint and pull your money out the same day. You still gotta wait. They three months or however many months they take to process them them numbers and shit and get all that shit ready. Yeah, bro, and then shit, bro, even with, what, 20,000 streams, bro, you only making, what, $100? Yeah, something like that. Something like that, you feel me? Like, you, so it's like, bro, you dead ass need, like, a million streams if you want, like, 5,000. Yes. You want, like, 10,000 or some shit like that. So, you know. Crazy. Yeah, bro, that streaming, that streaming world definitely different. Oh, we on, um, we taking, we pugging. What what time we on? 23. 20, so we got, like, seven minutes before we got, uh, that's what it is. Every 30 minutes. Yeah. Yeah, man. So, um, but shit, that's crazy how we got into that conversation, man. But nah, nah. I would, man, man, now we got to bring Per, uh, Per God on here, bro. So he can talk about that shit. Cause I definitely, I want to know what he, what he's saying. Cause he, he don't fuck with the streaming service at all. Like he had a whole little, like rant about it. And I just, it just slipped my mind right now. But yeah, we're going to have to get him on here. Hey, y'all heard, uh, Mary J. Blige confirm, uh, the Umbrella song was like offered to her. Oh, she turned it down. Yeah, she turned it down. Her and Britney Spears. Wait, like I don't look, think no one would have did it as good as Rihanna. But before Rihanna accepted the song, it was offered to who two got other it, people. Who, who got the offer first? Britney Spears, and then she turned it down saying Britney she Spears see. and Jay Z. Yeah, I ain't gonna even lie. Look, <laughs> yeah, remember this? We, we young. Yeah. It's like oh six. That yeah, but that Britney Spears joint would have went. <laughs> that joint would have went. She turned it down saying she, she ain't seen joke. no potential. <laughs> so then don't get me wrong. The Mary J. Blige. And she was like, "Nah, Brother, I'm good on that." I'm, that's that's how the that's how that game worked, and I'm glad it fell into Rihanna's lap. But shout Brittany, out to Dream, Brittany, he made that bitch. Britney Spears he wrote it. Him and Jay Z. Bro, Britney Spears mm-hmm. on that joint. Dream. Like like that joint would have been Probably that joint would have been different. I ain't gonna lie, that joint white people would have fucked with that joint. That joint would have been different. White that people fuck with fuck it with Rihanna though. Yeah. Yeah, but well, Britney Britney Spears on that joint, that joint would have hit another level. I don't though. think no one would ever did it. I don't think no one would have did it as good as. I don't Rihanna. think I don't think Britney Spears would have did it as I good as Rihanna. Maybe the song wouldn't be exactly the same, but I can't. But I can I can hear it. I can definitely hear Britney Spears on that joint. I can hear her doing it doing that shit. That joint. Hear it with Jay Z. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> I, that that just me. Jay Z come in rapping. I, I'm personally not even gonna listen to the song. That shit would throw me off, bro. Spears. I ain't gonna lie. Like if I were to hear that joint on the radio, I'd be like, "What the fuck is this a mix?" Like, I I'm yeah, personally, yeah, it'll yeah, it'll throw, throw you off now. But we talking about if it the, always if niggas me. never heard Rihanna, Rihanna, Rihanna on the joint, I'm listening to Britney Spears. Yeah, see, see, they and they you, <laughs> that Jay Z and Lincoln Park shit saying. threw me off. You know what I'm saying? I follow you. Nah, nah, bro. Jay Z and Lincoln Park threw me off, and that was when we was young. That shit. Oh, Jay Z who? Lincoln Park. That shit was hard. 
I was thinking that. I ain't even listening. I'm like, why is this nigga doing shit? That bro. But it would have been on MTV, and you would have definitely listened to it. At the end, you said who? Yeah, that's a weird combo right there. Yeah, that is a crazy combo. But I ain't gonna lie, I'm I'm listening to that shit because I fuck with Bruno Mars. Yeah, y'all y'all funny. That shit was fire, though, right? Yeah. What what about Mary J? Y'all couldn't see Mary. Y'all couldn't see her killing that drum. I probably see that drum over Britney Spears. <laughs> you can see Mary J. Blige over Britney Spears on that yeah, yeah. With Jay Z, yes. <laughs> nah, I, maybe I if it was Britney Spears or somebody my else. Umbrella. Under my yeah. <laughs> is that the runaway love? That's the runaway love voice. He ugly. <laughs> Under my. Who do you think the British should have been with? Black or white? Justin Timberlake. <laughs> I was thinking, <laughs> you know what I mean? Some shit like that. I was gonna say that if he was he white. Was, I was gonna, nah, 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 but I was trying to think of somebody black to replace Jay Z. <laughs> Y'all wild. I think that Jay Z yeah, and Britney Spears. Uh, I think that shit, that com, that collab right there would have. You underestimating how, how up she was at some point. I don't, I don't even. Bro, I don't even think I'm they. I don't even think they underestimating Jay. Is it like her? Traumatic Britney Spears I, too. I'm pretty sure it yes. was. Oh, I'm definitely not giving it a look. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was. she was done after she shaved her head. What you doing? <laughs> <laughs> she was still Britney Spears, bro. Britney Spears. She was. Yeah, she still put yeah, out a hit. Yeah, she was still. She still came out and put it. Yeah, in. Yeah, she was still. We well, won't listen to it, but right. hey, it was yeah, definitely. Yeah, we, like yeah, we won't listen to it. Bro, back in the day, MTV used to be jumping, bro. Talking about you. We used to all watch MTV, no matter what play it and on. You there. used to fuck with it, the Britney he Spears shit. Bro, I used to watch playing white teeth. Answer the question. Did you fuck with Forever Young? Yeah. Yeah, but that's that not a great question. one. Yeah. That drum was great. I know. Uh, yeah, that drum was great. That was right now. And that's what I'm saying, bro. I Jay Z is he is versatile. You feel me? Like I don't not really think he, he, he don't care who on a track. He gonna do his thing. Where we coming from, bro? That's all. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you right now. We ain't saying she wasn't. I'm just saying Niggas, I can't hear. I bro, couldn't hear me them doing the song. Have they ever done a song together? Like it, 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 it was, have they ever done a song together? I don't know. I mean, it, Does that matter? niggas got goo. They ain't never did no song together. We would have <laughs> heard that shit. Niggas got, yeah, I mean. That, Jay-Z I, and Justin Timberlake did a song together before. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. You know, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's the reason why they ain't do a song together. That shit don't sound right. No, I think that, I think Britney Spears turned it down. Every time. But anyway. And she probably thought she, like, <laughs> me and She don't see no potential, nigga. She like, what the fuck am I doing on the song with Jay-Z? She's about to get bamboozled. Man, whatever. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm pretty I, sure it was offered to her with Jay Z on it. Like, yeah. Hey, before we get into the entertainment topic, do y'all want to talk about how crazy Travis Scott been going? Bro, he going crazy every year, bro. Where has he been hey. doing? A lot of Why he all of a sudden got a McDonald's deal? What the fuck going on there? Niggas said, bro, he, all, bro, he, he got so many crazy. deals, bro. He had, a, bro, don't didn't he have a Puma deal? Yeah. Niggas so. said he had Travis, a deal with Reese's Puff. Niggas, niggas said that Travis Scott McDonald's don't sold more than six nine. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, yeah, yeah. That means it's so more than Quando Rondo. That, that don't so more than a lot that of shit niggas. That's just a quarter pounder with bacon and less. That don't so that don't so more than a lot of niggas. Like, come on, and a little toy, his, little, like all his clothes that sold out, bro. Some shit they already got it's in like three days. Meat. They was all sold out. I mean, bro, bro, the Travis Scott I'm brand sure. is, is 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 his own now. You feel me? It's it's big. Like it's big to have something by Travis Scott. Fact. Crazy. It's it's almost like having something by Kobe. Yeah. By who? By who? Kobe. Oh. Hey. No disagreements right there, right? Nah, I just didn't hear what you said. Oh. Man. Yeah, no, nah, no. Nah, facts, bro. If you get, like, some Travis Scott merch, bro, you can definitely resell that shit for way more than what it's worth. And that's just that's just what world we live in. Nigga, they had a, um, Jordans and shit. Nigga, the, the Reese's Puff, uh, the Reese's Reese Puff Reese box. box. Bro, you can get that joint and you can sell that joint for more, for, for some bread. <laughs> Hey, you can sell that joint for bread, bro. They don't got no. That was a long time ago. Like they don't got it like no. Like a more. year ago. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure you can find that joint on eBay. Yeah, you can definitely find it. Five months. Sheesh, who knows? They reselling joint on eBay. Damn, <laughs> he probably got a whole wall in his crib. I want. Nah, it was one of his people. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but look, though. Shout out to John Wall. Oh, Big yeah, blood. Yeah, I had to be his real self. Big blood. I love it. Yeah. Bro, I don't, bro, he apologized for what though? Bro, I don't think he should apologize, bro. <laughs> what do you apologize for, bro? Bro, blood. Yeah. You're blood, you're blood. There's hella bloods out here. It's, 
We yeah. understand it's not cool to be gay. They like young thug yeah, into fashion shows. Like, you niggas don't care about if you're blood no more. Nigga, don't care about that. Nigga, that nigga young thug's not in the NBA, bro. John Wall not in the NBA. Right now. Kids with the Kids with the Even on the sideline. Kids watching the NBA. I mean, kids listen to rap, but they're not supposed to. Hey, all right, so what if, LeBron, what if LeBron was being in blood, bro? Like, come on now, bro. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> then then Brown would have all them endorsement deals. Niggas, Brown probably is blood. <laughs> he probably is, too, bro. Brown probably is a blood, yeah, bro. Yeah. Bruh, what's, bro, I don't see no problem with John Wall being the blood. And don't get me wrong. LBJ, the blood James. This episode ever go big and Bronson is young, bro. I know you ain't nothing. King, look. I think what John Wall crossed the line is when he pulled the flag out of his pocket and held that John up. He pulled it. I was like, what? I thought he was ready to pull a stack out. Nigga said. He gotta do that. He gotta fake. You gotta full fake. You can't goddamn fake it halfway. If you gonna do it, you might as well do it all the way. If I got to do that, if you bang, you got the flag on. You gotta pull the flag up. That's I. That's fact. It would've been bad. wild if he didn't pull. That's the flag a rule. Up. I'm. He might as well. He already throwing up the steam. Already in the grill. No, 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 he did go ahead and he stack up on camera. Right, nah, nah, he was blowing the gas. Yeah, I, ain't even, <laughs> he, I ain't gonna even count. He was wild. I don't, nah, but, but I think I don't think the NBA was it the NFL. They don't touch the weed no more. Sure. Yeah, NBA, NBA, I don't think so. NBA, right? But, bro, look, man, who cares if John Wall was motherfucking? That's his niggas, man. Right. He got a ring, bro. That's hilarious. We're talking about John Wall right he now. He just got the job, though. Oh, yeah, John Wall, man. John, yeah, shit. Hey, man, keep banging blood. <laughs> <laughs> hey, keep doing your thing, man. My nigga was in Brooklyn too. Hey. I hope you come back and be a. Hey, I hope you come back and be a baller, though. Facts. I mean, uh, the Wizards I need, need that energy, definitely. Yeah, bring that big blood energy on the court. Hey, Selena Powell. She back. Queen of all it. thoughts. Dang, hey, that's your own back. She, she accused. She accused of Adam Twenty Two. Bro, trying to ruin her. What you mean, trying? To so ruin? look, I'm ready to tell you this is what happened. Let's uh, hear. Let's hear. Let's hear. Let's hear. That's what happened. He let the hoes in the house. Big guy. Damn. Bro. So, so I'm, a, I'm for sure y'all are familiar with the uh, the Thoughts Neck Doe show that he had let him do on his podcast, right? So, bro basically said he fuck with him, you know what I'm saying? Keep doing you, he let him keep doing it, he's just not gonna have it on his page. On the, he's not gonna be presented by the No Jumper. And she basically got mad, you know what I'm saying? Trying to ruin him. Bro, what she thought it was? Bro, she thought she she thought she was gonna ride bro to the definitely. top. She definitely thought she was gonna get that free pass. Bro said they cool, yeah. but hey, she mad. Fuck her. Straight like that. Bro. Bro, these are hoes. Hey. Bro, I don't even know That's what to say did. about that, bro. She, bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro. She doing her thing. She make, she make headlines every week now. She, 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 she doing that her thing. Yeah, she wild. Yeah. She wildin', but um, I don't know, bro. It's just that's what happened when you let the hoes in the house, bro. They, they try to take over that home place. records. You feel me? Like she, she don't care about fucking up happy shit. Like she don't care about fucking up a good situation. <laughs> like, of, like, of course, this nigga not about to let you just keep coming and having your own segment at a show. And no, nah, he, he just was, that was just for a little bit. But he know he can't keep that shit going. Like, no. Nah. <laughs> He trying to run what she doing? What she? No, nah, she should have been already like had some backup or had some, Go had some. It. You feel me? She, she, yeah, I'm like, bro. You, if you, that's what you wanted to do. If if that's what you wanted to do, bro, you should have been prepared. You should have been prepared to have your own shit. You should have been but already you know on some shit is, like, man. thank you, Adam, for for the for the help. You feel me? And this should have had your own. You know how she is. That's how these trying to be so. He got he, she got oh, you. That's she got you. you. That's over. This is a you, you th- oh, you think you hit the joke? Huh? You think you hit the joke? No. Nah. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm saying she got to him like in his head type shit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey. Thought she was all cool and shit. Local news. Y'all heard, uh. She, but she been wild. That plane flew over VA saying this is still the capital of the Confederacy. A plane? First off, that don't spell wrong. Confederacy. You nah, know what, bro? Capital was out there. Oh, capital was spelled wrong. Capital was spelled yeah. like capital yeah. letter. <laughs> <laughs> That don't spell like you feel me? Like, yeah, like that don't nah. Bro, I was outside when I saw like I saw that shit. I was with somebody I can't. Bro, I'm high. You seen? Bro. You seen the plane? Yes, bro. <laughs> I what think it was like me. My when niggas have been wild, if they would have shot at that jump. You know, I, <laughs> bo, bo, bo. 
I was thinking about that. I ain't gonna lie. I was thinking about that when I seen it. I was like, bro, you putting holes in the flag. I was like, shit, nigga, shoot I saw that shit like live, like actually outside of the. I like because this is hella disrespectful. Did you see it live? Like in person? Nah, I ain't see it in person. I seen it on somebody on somebody's story, and I was just like, bro, would it be wild if niggas shot at that joke? That shit was just like yesterday, day before yesterday. Was one of them yeah, exactly. Rondo number nine guns. What was it at again? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It just said it was flying over the whole state. Rondo with the Rondo number nine rocket right launch. He said with the rocket launch. Oh, the whole city at least. <laughs> bro, I can't think of what I was at, but I was there as outside looking at that shit. Niggas was like, "Why would that shit say?" I wanna. I mean, bro. I mean, I know who made the flag. It was the little Virginia flag makers or whatever they, whoever Betsy they are. Ross or some shit, right? Yeah, like, they, like they make afraid of it. Like, they do that shit. Like, they make a lot of Oh, she made the American flag. I don't know if she made No, 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 no. I'm not saying she made it. No, I'm talking about the, the niggas who made the flag that was in the sky. Oh, okay. I'm like, I think it's made by, like, the Virginia flag makers or some shit. Oh, okay. And, um, so, they, but they do a whole lot of, like, Confederate shit. Like, if you go to their page, it's like, this the Confederate, like, such and such. But, like, at this point, if you still... I want to. I want to know who was flying that bitch. That's what I want to know. I feel like if you, cause if you I want to know who made it, cause they can't spell. If you still doing that Confederate shit, then you just doing that shit out of spite at this point. Because yeah, you, I you don't know what it represents. Yeah, it's out of spite. So if you want to represent, if you won't say it's like heritage and all that shit, but we telling you it was literally. Why would you want to rep the losing side? That's that's number one. Why would you want to be? Why would you want to rep like? And it's not like the. They ain't just lose once, twice. No, it's like the forever losing well, side. Like lost y'all lost the whole joint. Like y'all lost y'all. Like y'all lost the states. Like y'all lost everything. Everything. Y'all lost everything. Like the so. Whole why shit would y'all you? I was fighting for. Not, why would you want to rep something like that in the first place? That's number one. Two, like you said, bro. If niggas still banging that shit, <laughs> if niggas still doing that, then that motherfucking you know that's just right disrespectful. Like that's what I'm saying, bro. I'm like, bro. That's a game too. If you ask me. Like that shit, definitely man. is. But that's that a big game. That shit's sad for real. That people still just got that much hate. Tell you kind of people in there they can't spell, and the nigga who flew the plane ain't care that it was spelled wrong. Well, he might have been the one who stuck it. He sent the wrong message then, stupid ass motherfucker. But hey, man, on to some other controversy. J.K. Rowling. What about her, man? She no. just dropped a new book called Transphobic. For real? Yeah. Oh God, I'm about to go read that. Hey, she getting a lot of backlash because it's about a, a man. Hold on, I'm ready to pull this up. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Time out, excuse said, me. It's called what? Transphobic. He said, oh, God, I'm about to go. Oh, God, I'm about to go read that. I ain't even hear the title. I just heard it was by J.K. Rowling. I'm thinking of Harry Potter. Um, we, he, he, oh, God, I'm about to go read that. <laughs> Tell me what that book about first. I jumped, oh, God. I jumped, I jumped the gun. Skip past that shit. Look, I was. No, I was and watching. J.K. Rowling sound good though. It was no. like, oh shit, some 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 Harry Potter shit. If anybody Pink read Harry Potter, says it's about a murderous cis man who dresses as a woman to kill his victims. I don't think I'm interested. <laughs> and goddamn, apparently. That don't sound like a crazy ass Netflix series. I watched a Family I, Food. Family I, Food. She like, getting a lot of backlash. Lot I watch. I watch that on Netflix. I watch a family few, right? I don't, you know, I mean, just real quick. The nigga said it was like all the famous versus NFL players. It was doing like, you know, the bonus round where they like the 25 second shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The nigga asked him if Captain Hook could replace his hook with any tool. Like, if he was a handyman and he could replace his hook with any tool, what would he, what would he replace it with? This nigga, Bruce Smith, said a penis. What? If Captain Hook was moonlighting as a handyman, he might replace his hook with what tool? A hammer. Try again. A penis. Tell me the age a kid is too old to sleep with a ten. What the You said that? Bruce mm-hmm. Smith. On Family Feud? On oh, Family Feud. The nigga Steve Harvey went to read the next question. It was like, oh, 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 what the fuck? He was like, dude, what did this nigga just say? Like, the nigga had to stop the whole show for like two minutes. Like, that ass, this nigga, that ass said a penis. That was the first thing that came to his mind. Why do? Nah, Bruce Smith, all time NFL sack leader. Oh, okay, alright. I mean, this nigga, what the fuck wrong with you? Like, that shit was crazy. Shit I don't know what be going through the head, bro. bro. Like, and that's what Niggas I feel like Steve game, Harvey bro. when he heard that, because that's how I was on the transfer. I was like, I'm a real, uh, what's the name of that title of the book? Hold on, time off. I mean, I, I mean, the the title he just described don't sound. I mean, I what's a cis man though? Uh, I don't know what they mean by um, No, yeah, cis, cis mean like straight. I think. I think it means straight. Oh, man. 
Nah, for real. I mean, it might be nah. I think sit for real. I think it's deeper than it's deeper than. Prefix cis means on the same side as. So while people who are transgender move across gender, people who are cisgender remain on the same side of that gender. But I think they use it as like a. I'm not gonna say they, but I think so, most people use so it as like a slur. Like we, so is he gay? Nah, nah. They they use it as a slur. I think, but cis mean like. Nah, that can't that can't be like a slur because why would she wouldn't someone wouldn't put that in an article? That'd be no. But I'm, no, I'm saying they. But I'm saying people like use they they call straight man cis like cis man as a slur. But I think cis is not straight man. I think when you when you cis like when they say that, I think that's like you don't want to be that. Like that's bad. Like that mean you you against it, like whatever they doing. You feel me? It mean you one sided, I think. Like you don't fuck with it. No, nah, no. Nah. So what this says means a cis person is someone who identifies what they were birth with. So I, woman, I get what you saying. And the birth is a cis woman. Yeah, I get what you saying, but they I'm saying they say it. I mean, it's, instead of calling you a cis man, they can just say man, yeah, right? Yeah. They can just say man, right? Well, instead person. of saying man, they say. They say what they, you know, no, the system. Yeah, I'm I'm not saying it's the worst cis-gender. slur in the world, but I'm just saying it's like, so a, it's, it's, like term. it's like a, yeah, like a, a slang, like a, uh, like a so quick her, slang. So her book is about a man who dresses as a woman to kill his victim, a straight man who dresses as a woman to kill his victim. That's what the book is about? Yeah. Yep. I think okay, so. I'm yeah. Reading. Yeah. Weird, but I'm going to read it. Yeah, that's I mean, not what it's about. Yeah. Like I said, bro, I wouldn't, I wouldn't read it, but I'd probably watch something like that on Netflix. That's that's, that sounds like some shit on How to Get Away with Murder or some shit. I fuck with that joint, though. No, no. We'll see. Y'all ever seen that? Well, How to Get Away with Murder? Yeah. No. Y'all ain't never seen that? I, I, fuck, with, I fuck with Power. <clears throat> I, I, I still... They got, they got uh, this... Well, I gotta watch the movie. All right, well, hey, look. Too. Hey, well, do, do you fuck with, like, like... I guess, uh, mystery shows and shit like, like, shit like that? Or would you I like to read? Black Mirror. I, mean, I, I fuck with Black Mirror too. Like Law and Order, but only special victims. You. I don't really fuck with the CIS and CSI and shit like that. Alright, well go go check out How to Get Away with Murder. Go check out that joint. I I think all y'all fuck with that joint. That joint that joint decent. It's on Netflix. Yeah. I need a Netflix. I seen the first season of that. Hey. You, and you, you, you ain't fucking with it? I fuck with it. I just never went. Oh okay. Oh no, that shit get greasy. That shit gets greasy. But look though. On to the discussion topic. Age of Big I like that. When dating. What's y'all thoughts? So? Is age a big thing when dating? What's y'all thoughts? Yes. Yeah, no. Yeah, no, age definitely big thing. No, no, I'm not saying like no. You know what I'm saying? Nah. But as far as like. But, but if you like talking to what they was talking about on Twitter. Yeah. What they talking about on Twitter? They was, um. I mean, so basically on Twitter, I think this thread went out and it was just showing like. It was just showing like famous like celebrities who dated like yeah, people boy. like s- s- questionably younger than them like 40, 19. I wish I had the thread right here, but some weird shit. Uh, even I think like it won't. I forgot what dude it was. I forgot his name. Woody Allen. Mm-hmm. Woody Allen. He ended up some weird shit, but he ended up like raising his stepdaughter and then marrying her. Yeah, it was some weird shit. Like, like he had a yeah, he That's like crazy. yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Like, he, That's next and he time. married that joint at like nineteen. Whoa, and, yeah, he ain't and, even fully great. He ain't even mess. That's nasty. nasty. But they nasty. they tried to compare that. Also, in that same thread, they had the they had Kobe Bryant at twenty one, and then Vanessa Bryant at seventeen. Now, me personally, my dad was seventeen, and my mom was twenty one. But I feel like it's a it's a double standard. Your dad was the youngest. Yeah, I, see, yeah, exactly. it's, it's it's yeah, it's most definitely a double standard with that. And I respect that double standard. You feel me? Like I don't want no shawty that's seventeen. And yeah, exactly. I'm twenty one. You feel like, me? At least eighteen. You, you know what I mean? Yeah, like and then especially with like no nah. yeah, technicality. Maybe she was like seventeen for like when they met. I I actually looked that up. And there was there was a smooth four years apart. So when she would be turning seventeen, he would be turning twenty. He would be turning twenty one. So when she would be turning eighteen, he would be turning twenty two. You feel me? So it was like they they four years like four solid years apart. But 
And then a lot of people say like, when you 21, what would you have in common with a teenager? I, I don't, I don't like that Kobe Bryant example because I just feel like he had to grow up fast. He probably, you know, that's that's yeah. He, in the NBA and all that. he was in the NBA, but I don't really know her background. But I'm, I'm thinking she came from a little bit of money. So I'm she had class and yeah, I'm like so I'm pretty sure her coming from money and him having money, they had a lot more in common than what people probably thought. You feel me? Like, like, like I was like, money is for real. Money is like be the change of mindset in a whole lot of things. Like, I'm not gonna fuck with no younger John one because your mindset not there. Two is what, what can you do? What can you do? Like you, you, it, like, you don't bring nothing to the table for me. Like you can't. Like I'm on a whole different like type of time. Like so now nah, that joke just don't. But it, maybe with Kobe, like and her, like they they both had money, so they shit was looking different. But now when niggas like Omarion, fuck with not Omarion. What what's the, what's the dude uh, from? Uh, I can't think of the group. Marcus Houston. Uh, Marcus, Marcus Houston. Houston. He's wild. He's wild. He's wild. He's wild. He's wild. Nigga, but, nineteen. He's wild. But Jay Z, Beyonce. How, what's the the music? The music stop. Jay Z. Jay Z Beyonce, bro. Don't know. I don't. Nobody ever brings up Jay Z and Beyonce. That's because they're the ideal couple and shit. And that's what about yeah. um, Mariah and Nick Cannon? Nick Cannon younger than her though. So it's, I know. But they was. But it's, Nick, gonna be, it's a double standard if the one. Like oh, yeah, you know, but I don't think Nick Cannon was like wild, no, Nick mean, Cannon was no teenager, but he was like twenty what twenty seven, twenty eight. Yeah, he was like, he's he's like, ten years. He at least a decade younger than Mariah But like when you, but. It's, if the woman is the woman is twenty one and the dude is seventeen, it's gonna look at it like, oh shit, bro, you got a twenty one year old like damn, good job type of shit. It ain't really gonna like her friends probably be like, Why are you talking to that oh, young that nigga? Like, oh that young ass nigga, but it ain't gonna be like in a couple years when they get older and she's twenty three now and he nineteen, twenty, you know what I mean? It ain't really gonna look that bad type shit. And we like, when he's twenty one and she's seventeen, it's like just, this is, Cause it's crazy Cause they say women Mature faster than men though You know what I mean So Yeah but at the same time I like, think oh, I think You're 21 Get taller at 17 You're so mentally above her But I don't see I don't. If I'm 17 And she's 21 Then it's like I think they mature As far yeah, as and she's above me, I think they, they mature As far as like Like on an everyday Like type of life thing Like as far as like Just dealing with Shit, a little different. I would say common sense. But yeah, I don't yeah. Like that we yeah, I think yeah they mature, but at the same time, I think they like hopeless romantics. You feel me? So yeah, exactly. I think even women. I think a forty year old woman. I ain't gonna say she got the same mindset as a twenty year old yeah, or nineteen year old, but I've seen it. You feel I, me? Bro. I've definitely seen forty year old women go out there and just be just be loose like just not really like the game not be too tight maybe it's because they ain't been dating for a while i don't know but i see them go out there and like fall back into like a i'll say a childish or or yeah. you feel me a childish mindset to was like you like damn you, i thought i thought fucking with somebody older was will be bro, will be different you feel me like, like 30 plus yeah. year old woman act yeah. like 18, 19 year olds. And, and, and I didn't see, I didn't see, I didn't see like, 20 year olds and 19 year olds with their own, they own crib. Yeah, and I'm like, true. damn. I'm like, damn. How you, I'm like, what the fuck? Own crib, two jobs. On, I'm like, damn. She just hustled different. Like, yeah. it's so, it's like, bro, it's all a mindset. But me personally, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna date the 19 year old just cause she got two jobs. I don't, yeah. I don't care how hard she hustles. Oh, yeah. I mean, she just, she just too young. She just, yeah. Yeah, she just too young. Like, I'm, me personally, I want I want the Joan probably twenty three. I want someone like Chance. Somebody night, yeah, yeah, yeah. Facts. Yeah, I feel like I can take advantage of the show. It's like, what's what's like the? Yeah, exactly. Was, I was I was gonna say that, but I don't want you know, like that. Is, what's the fun of that? Uh, shit? A like, lady was telling me. I want you to make me sharp on my toes. A lady was telling me an older lady, she's probably about 42, 43, She was saying. She was saying a lot of like older people, like men and women, they go after younger people because they want somebody that can't say no. Or they look for like people that are really not gonna tell them no. Like, and if you start, like, I guess the younger you start, it's easier to groom and like yeah. basically like, I guess, build the person you want. 
And then, I mean, if, if they not telling you, if they don't tell you no, you feel me, then, I mean, you got a whole lot of power over yeah. somebody that don't tell you no. At, at the drop of a dime, like, you can... I don't want no shorty that I can just tell to do what I want to do every single time. Nah, time. Like, that's, I don't, I don't. Like, that's kind of, like, that's kind of boring. Like, you know, not even kind of boring. It is boring. Like, I want, like, I want to go fight that. Not even like no go to the store, no, not even no shit like that, but it's just like if I'm always manipulating the situation to me go my way type shit, it's like this shit is that shit right. Yeah. Ain't no challenge. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. you wildin' at that point. You know or like <laughs> nigga a master manipulator? You're not even like you're not even you're not even growing in that situation because you 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 so you already like good at the level you at, it's like it's no point like how can you you don't know how to get better because you already they can't even beat the level you on right now. So it's like it's not it. Um shit remember what, what we just been talking about? Age. Age. Yeah, age. Yeah, age. Yeah. Oh it's um shit. Nobody has nothing else to say about that age shit. I mean, bro, one day I'm going to come in here, I'm going to find that thread, and I'm going to come in here, and we're going to go through them jobs, and we're going to be disgusted together. That's it. I'm like, ah, oh, nah. But, 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 bruh, I'm going to say that to my daughter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, I'm going to say that to my daughter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, I'm going to say that to my daughter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, I'm going to say that to my daughter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, I'm going to say that to my daughter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, I'm going to say that to my daughter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, I'm going to say that to my daughter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, I'm going to say that to my daughter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, I'm going to say that to my daughter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, I'm going to say that to my daughter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, I'm going to say that to my daughter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, I'm going to say that to my daughter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, I'm going to say that to my daughter. Young, bro, before Hollywood, I'm even talking like, uh, bro, I'm talking about even like, we're talking about like, people did, yeah, like, my grandpa, I think, before, was, like, bro, my bro, that's what I'm saying, like, this shit, like, it's, it's something that millennials are looking at different now, but I'm talking about before we started looking at it like that, it was a thing, it was a thing. like, you feel me, it was a thing to fuck with a young girl or a young guy, like, yeah. if he was older, it was, a, it, was, it was a thing, and that shit crazy, it was like, cool, it was, that was a cool thing, I feel like that was because, like, I'm, but I don't, that's crazy, the guys yeah. or girls that was, like, older in the situation, they didn't really have as much access to the outside world as we do, so they didn't really, they didn't really get the experience a lot, so, you know, they don't really know, like, everybody that age probably, yeah, like, it's not like you going around checking, like, everybody age, if you find a, like, back then, if you friends with someone, and, and, like, and check this, and, and check this here, and check this here, like, the shit, like, bro, shit, like, the age of consent, like, so loose, all over, like, it ain't, it ain't, uh, just a clear number nowhere, right? Like, and that's the that's the wild thing about it. Like, bro, it should be a clear number all over the board. That's why you got the law now. Hey, what's the law? I think the I thought I thought every state was different. I thought every state. Like, every state you had to be eighteen. Mm-hmm. I said I don't know what age you should like, be. Real. That should be like. I just feel like I don't like. Some states are 17. I don't feel like if you're 14, you should be having it. It ain't going to 17. You shouldn't be having it. 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 If, look, if somebody your age, somebody your age, cool, whatever. If around that age, bro, if you fucking with, with somebody that's 19, 20, 21, and you're 14, then you was wild, bro. I mean, you, I mean, you wildin', but they, they wildin' for sure. And now that's another thing. Like they said, you can't hold like the young person accountable. No, you definitely can hold both. You hold both sides accountable. Like if that was my kid, I'm like, yo, but you know damn well, you're not supposed to be messing with somebody. Like, like you know, you know better than this. Like, like you do. Nine times out of ten, I'm fifteen, so I don't know. Nine times out of ten, they fucking with you, probably because. They yeah, you older and they think they like it's it's cool and they think you can probably get them some access to shit that they ain't got regular. Yeah. Like, no. Yeah, that's no. Like, that's no. Like, that's like, the younger person you know, going on. And, keep that shit and then and then the older nigga is like bro, like I said, bro, you fucking with somebody that's not gonna tell you no, bro. Like the lady was telling me, bro. So I'm just like, bro, nah, that shit not cool either way. That shit, that shit yeah, that shit crazy. And that's why I was like, bro, them laws too loose. Like, you know, bro, and and be like that. I ain't said that, kids. I'm, 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 cool. I'm just cooling right now. I'm just cooling right now. Cause I feel like I'm, I'm a, you know, I feel like I, I'm gonna do a good job and like that too. I feel like I'm gonna do a good job. But I've seen like for example, my supervisor at work. She said she don't, she never smoked, she never drank. Like her kids smoke and drink like motherfuckers. So she like, what if I'm doing 
when they get that from, they didn't see me going and doing that type shit. I, I mean, I ain't see him. I ain't see my mom. I can't say I touch my mom smoking because that's, that's why I smoke that shit. But you know, she didn't raise me to smoke. But you know, so your kids don't do what they want to do anyway. I just don't want to be a friend of her own shit. You know what I mean? But shit like that. You can't, you can't really control that. You can't control that. It's part of who they hang with, but it's also part of like what you instill in them. You feel me? Because I mean, it's, you, you just gotta have I feel like nowadays, that shit is kind of starting to matter like less and less. Because of like, like, you can raise your kids to be straight thoroughbred kids, but when they step outside and go outside your vision, there's no telling them what's imposing them to do what. No, that that's fact, but you know? at the same time, bro, I feel like, bro, you if, like like I feel like it's, it's, it's half and half. You feel me? But okay. definitely, bro, you you learn you learn with your peers, and then you learn in your house. I mean, yeah. like they gonna I mean, whatever political side you on, nine times out of ten, they gonna be on that same side. Whatever stance you got, nine times out of ten, they gonna have that same stance. It's gonna be they gonna have a whole lot of similarities to you yeah, that you probably not notice. That they take outside the house and that, that that they don't do, you feel me, when they're around you, but they do it around their friends, and that just because that's how you they was taught. So that's that's all I'm talking about. That that I mean, natural that shit, true. that 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 shit, that tick that they can't get rid of, that natural shit you put on. So, no nah, man, definitely uh, raise your kids though, man. Sure, but um, yeah man, you know, you gotta get that shit clear all across the board. But, but that just goes to show, like, our country old as a bitch, bro, and the laws old as a bitch. So, like, so a lot of the shit that was normalized back then, we looking at now, like, that shit not cool. <laughs> that shit not cool. Like, it's, like that's why the whole Me Too movements and shit like that happened, and that's why a lot of these movements happening right now, because niggas just looking back, like, that shit not cool. That shit not cool then. Oh no no, bro! Twenty years from now, bro, this this is gonna be different. All this is gonna be different. <coughs> oh, that's laws, but let's get to the sports, man. Hey, sports. LeBron and AD advance. What's y'all thoughts on the game, niggas? I ain't been watching this. Oh yeah, you did. You was. You was yeah, yeah see what's here. He said he not watching the sports, but it's he kind of easy. I ain't really interested in that ball. I didn't know that. Like Anthony Davis with the ball, they just moved on to the. I see. I know that they moved on though, but that's just because. Um, I mean, Anthony Davis and LeBron. Uh, I'm fucking with it. Um, like. I don't like when they get too much rest because I feel like they get out their shred. But once uh they always lose that first game. You feel me? They lost the first game against what? Well, yeah, and then they went on four four trades. So I just for the Lakers, it's just a matter of a matter of rhythm for for them. Um, right now the Clippers they in hot water. Uh, I think I think the gas. I think the Clippers tired. I think they tired. Oh, they will pull that joint out. Going to that, so Nuggets versus uh, the Clippers. We got, we got winning game seven. Um, we can go around the board first. Jalen, what you think? Who you got? Who you got? Denver. Denver, what you got? Key. I am, man. What you got? Is who we think he is. Denver going to the Clippers. I mean, we already know that, but who you think winning? We don't care if you don't show up. You mean if you didn't show up? I said I'm going with the Clippers. I said I'm going with. I said if Kawhi is who we think he is, I'm going with the Clippers. That's not fair. That's the answer. That's saying if Kawhi the goat that we think he is, the championship player we think he is, I'm going with him. And I got Kawhi showing up. I heard you already lost. Well, we'll see him next year. Introduce it to him. And Melo, Melo, Mike. All he have to do is lose one game. He even gave Phoenix a fair fight. Right, yeah. One game, he really gave us a fair fight. And then he would have bust his ass there. But, that's what y'all got. That shit's tough to run. Wait, let's, why, why are we running through this, bro? Let's go back to the Clippers and Denver, bro. We got to talk about how Denver is coming back from 3-1. Denver did it last round. They going to do it again. 
Bro, they is playing excellent right now. Jokic is wild. It's, it's, it looks like yeah, all it is is a matter of rhythm for Denver, too. Bro, right? Everybody low key might watch. No, I'm not watching that game. Bro, if they I do watch the game, it gotta be like the finals or something. Then I'll probably still up on that. Yeah, bro. NFL is back. All right, bro. So if the Clippers don't go, are they breaking this team up? I yeah, they ain't have to. Bro, they ain't have to. See, they could win. Yeah, they ain't have to. Yeah, they ain't have to. It's the first year together. And there's no fans. It's their first year together. Y'all ready when I don't want you to I'm going for the middle. Y'all niggas tripping. If I'm playing. You bringing that journal back for one year. With no fans for the playoffs. You ain't even going to try to coach the change first year and bring the whole team up. Yeah. I think Kawhi is going to leave. No, let's talk about why. I think they're going to be stuck with Paul George and Kawhi is going to leave. Let's talk about why Joe Kim Noah is on that team. And they thought he was going to do something. They signed him. He's like defensive. Nah, they only got him there for the Lakers, bro. Ooh. <laughs> uh, bro. You not, who he checking? No. Uh, just intimidate Bron. No, no, listen. <laughs> like what? No, listen, bro. And you that's what's the clip of problem right now. You don't hit the Bron. You don't fuck with Bron, bro. Yeah, let me hear Bron. Bro. So you just want brother to play Brown in the finals? Bro, that's been the Clippers game plan all year, bro. Ain't not even gonna Get a bunch of people that don't like play. Brown. Ain't not even gonna reach Brown, bro. Bro, they whole game plan was to stop with Lakers, bro. And for real, I have no doubt that they yeah, would that beat the Lakers. Division, bro. They, but I don't got the like said, they got like, Joaquin Noah uh, just, to, just to play the Lakers. I don't want to say that. I don't want to say that because I just said the Clippers going to win. Hey, look. This game, nobody else. I, I got nobody else. Nah, just intimidate them. That ain't no check I don't got the Lakers being the. I mean, I don't got the Clippers being the Lakers. Intimidate. But I got them going to game seven. Just the Marcus Morris. Is but sure. we gotta see if the Clippers make it past them, because right now they look gas. Shout out to Jamal Murray. They dropped Shout the buckets though. Bitch. You feel they, me? They not. They playing Shout bad on defense. Gary yeah, Harris. Yeah, playing bad on defense. Yeah, they. Yeah, they, yeah, they dropping buckets. But and PJ. When you up ten, I see you. going into a four, and then you go, then you go down by ten. You just defense. tired. You just tired as a bit. Like you. At first you, you can't can't was just saying you can't check Yeah, they can't stop him. But um they shit. Try to pick Paul Jordan. But then but I am ready for this uh Boston Miami series. Yep. I'm, yep. Ready, I'm ready for that. Miami, Miami. Toronto, Miami. I wanted y'all to go all the way, but fuck it. Miami. This nigga uh Miami said. Nah, I, I hope that's it. Yeah. I hope y'all win, bro. I hope y'all win too. I hope y'all clutch the series for real. I hope we beat Brian in the finals. I don't want to do that. It's gonna be Boston. I want to see that. I don't want to do that. I don't care if we get swept. I want to see him in the finals. It's gonna be LA and Boston, bro. It's all good. They probably do that just because that's what they were looking for when Kyrie was there. Oh no, no, no. Kyrie ain't going nowhere. That's why. That's why Kyrie went there. They were trying to get the Boston versus the Lakers. Yeah, that's what why would they do it now? Cause I still want that matchup. That's a, that's still like a, a fan favorite matchup. Nah. The finals? Nah, I think it's gonna do it cause they can just play it down. Who you like? Oh. Lil. 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 I like Lil. Shout out to Jimmy B. He better than Damian Lil. Yeah, I said it. You heard it here first. <laughs> Jimmy have, is better. You just, you just, you just saying anything to argue. You didn't have to do my math like you that. You really don't believe that. I know you don't. Know. <laughs> oh, I believe. You heard, you heard what he said? You see what Jimmy doing? Team he on said, his back. He said Jimmy Butler better than Damian Lillard. <laughs> <laughs> is he crazy? You trolled. I like a motherfucker. But shit, yeah, on the football. What the hell? I don't know. Is it? Maybe. Uh, Jimmy, I, I, I'm with you on that. Hey. Mm. You, you think Jimmy Butler is better than Damian Lillard? I'm with you on that. Oh, you can't be serious. That's a strong opinion right there. This might be my last time coming out this year. I think he's a better leader. Ooh. Huh? He's a better leader. He a better leader than Lillard? Yeah. And he got more I don't dog. know. I, I could. I could. I don't know. I he got, got more dog? That's he got more dog. That, yeah. He got. I got. I don't know. Leadership. Not, a better, he, not a better score. Yeah. No. But nah. he, he's a better leader for sure. So yeah, okay. Leader. I don't know. If I can see that. Look at his team and look at Lillard's team. How he a better leader? He got put off Philly. They let him go. Lillard has been to the playoffs every year since he, he got drafted. He got put off. He, got, he, he, he lost. Put Philly in the playoffs. He he didn't want to go back to Philly. Nah, they didn't want him back. He's, no, he's, he's, he didn't want to go back. Because they didn't want him. Because they didn't want him. He wanted his own team. 
Man. And he when he got his own team, look what he, he better, did. You think he better than for real? Yeah. yeah. Jimmy Butler. He yeah. played. He played yeah. offense yeah. and defense. Yeah. Let him know he played offense. I mean defense. He's not better than that. Jimmy Butler yeah. played both ways. Let put up. Let yeah. put up more points. He put up more points. This bubble than I, Jimmy I, I Butler ever did in his career. And Little did that shit three times. I hear you say, who got more L's in the bubble? I, look, I told you, man, come on, bro. Look, I told you he's a better score. I give it to you. Bro, he's not a better leader than Jimmy Butler, bro. Yes, he is. Jimmy Butler's not taking that Portland team in the West to the playoffs, bro. They was a third seed one year. Don't forget that. Yeah, they lost Andres and they lost what three of their five starters. They were just Lillard and McCullough. I got, I got Jimmy Butler taking taking them to the AFC. At least, no. At least, no. Jimmy Butler in the West before? No. And no damn. When did he did he did he, did he, did he play in the West before? He played for uh, Minnesota or some shit, right? Yeah, Minnesota. No, he played for Minnesota. He played. He went from the Bulls to Minnesota, right? Yeah. Man, what Minnesota do? He took them to the playoffs. When they go to the playoffs? Shit, that bitch is too. Huh? Nice. When they go to the playoffs? What they do? They ain't do nothing. Ain't like a teammate though. He took that team. He took that team to the playoffs. This nigga said, and they was and he ain't like him. Bro, he beat the starting five with the third string. He better than they did. Yes. Yeah, too. He did. You funny man. That nigga said he did though. He, he took him to the AC. He better than Damian Lillard. I think so. <laughs> you heard me say it here first. Dang. I said it first. I think so. I mean, I mean, I mean his main dollar. I mean, if you, I mean, they both closers. Who would better closer? Oh, dang. But Jimmy Butler gonna do so it on both ends. Consistency with closers. Jimmy Butler gonna do it on both ends though. That he gonna close on both ends. That's what I'm saying. Right, Ain't nobody gonna drop him off because he played better. So what? His he don't Damian get dropped Lillard, off like Paul. Damian Lillard's offense is that much better than Jimmy Butler's offense. That you know what I mean? Just because he better on defense, that shit don't really matter. Mm-hmm. Damian Lillard, Lillard is three tiers Jimmy, above Jimmy, Jimmy Butler offensively. Bro. It's Jimmy not Butler. even no competition. Jimmy Butler got tears. Jimmy Butler got his. Nah, he probably a tier. I would say a tier. A tier? Yeah. Damian Lillard dropped sixty three times, bro. Three times. This season. He's Tell me when Jimmy Butler did that once. <laughs> yeah, he got 40. How many 50 balls do Lillard got, bro? This season. His team, Tell his me when Jimmy Butler did that once. Yeah, his team still <laughs> when Jimmy Butler career high? Probably what, like, what, 34 or some shit? What was y'all, what was y'all position? <laughs> Lillard, do, Lillard career high like 61. <laughs> What's y'all playoff rank? What are they talking about? What was y'all playoff rank? How many, how many he dropped 63 times. What did y'all get y'all? How long Jimmy Butler been in the NBA? AC. How long Jimmy Butler been in the NBA? For a while. I guarantee you Damian Lillard got more All-Stars than him. Probably so. So how's he better? Nigga, it's not always about All-Stars. It's about what if your team. What He's been you, on three different teams. What else are you going to compare them on? Because they both have no MVPs, no championships. So let's compare them to the next thing you can. It's like comparing Pro Bowls in the NFL. All right, let's compare how many times they've been to the playoffs since they've been in the NBA. Damian Lillard has only missed the playoffs one time. That was his rookie year. He's been to the playoffs for this is his eighth straight year going, seventh straight year going. He just went to the Western <laughs> Conference Finals last year, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm right there with he you. has two. He has two playoff ending buzzer beaters, bro. I like game, but I think Jimmy Butler. Y'all are true. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm trying to put it up. Yeah, it's true. Playoff situation. I don't know. I'm taking Dane. Uh, it ain't even no question. Mm-hmm. I'm taking Dane playoff regular season scrimmage practice scrimmage practice driving chauffeuring me come out <laughs> wow. shoes I don't know about that raps all that hey, no no they can't rap yeah he, 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 uh, he, Dame Dollar he, he, he can't spit yeah. Jimmy Josh. took Jimmy came from the bottom of the Bulls took them up bro took Minnesota took the Bulls up with the well where did the Bulls go they made it to the playoffs. And then what, bro? Bro, but before that he was there, they won't so, make it so, to the playoffs. So, so making the playoffs is just the fine. That's just that's just the end all be all. Just making the playoffs. That's all you care about. Okay, where y'all at now, bro? What you mean? Okay, so Jimmy Butler in the playoffs and we, we wow. made it past the first. Jimmy round. Butler advances in the playoffs for like the third time in his career ever. And he's like, okay. Come on, how many times y'all made it out the first round? Or second round? Who game? Yeah. I just made it out the second round like. 
three years in a row. We come on, they beat Houston and OKC back to back, and you keep losing. I lost in the conference finals though, bro. To the best team in the NBA. You got like they lost to some bones. They lost to Golden State. Kevin Durant. Though. Okay. What about before yeah, Kevin Durant was there? Like, come on, bro. What about before Kevin Durant got to Golden State? What was Portland doing there? Making the playoffs. Yeah, Jimmy and losing to other great teams. Jimmy Butler just got on the good team. Bro, Philly is a good team. And and they went and they did good. And Kawhi put them out. They lost to Kawhi. If Kawhi would hit that game, that game would have been gone. It would have been gone. Come on, that team. Jimmy Butler right. definitely no, he was on that team. Yeah. No, he was not. He was definitely on that team. He was on that team last no. year. Yeah. No, he was not. Jimmy Butler was no, on that team. He was not on that team last year. Devin? Nah, he, he wasn't. He played for Miami last year. No, he didn't. Nah, he ain't playing. That was wild. Kawhi hit the shot. Over MB. Over MB and Ben Simmons and Jimmy Butler was right there looking at. Jimmy Butler definitely played for the 76ers last year. Hell yeah, no. Before Al Wolf came. Yeah. yeah, yes. He only been there one year. Just go to his this is his first year in Miami. Just go to Jimmy Butler's stats and go to his like real numbers. I'm already looking at it. This is first year in Miami. Who played for Philly. Philly. Yeah. And then before that, he played for Minnesota. Yeah. And then before Minnesota, he played for the How many times have you been to the playoffs? We didn't play. What are you doing? I want to see how he better than Damian Lillard. Like, where the fuck is he better than Damian? Like, what what do you see on the court that makes you say, "Oh, he a better basketball player"? Both sides, bro, and he tremendously. He if he on the team, he affects the team tremendously. So Damian Lillard don't. I'm not. I'm not saying that, but he not getting over the hump. It's the same thing every year. What has Jimmy Butler do to get over the hump, bro? bro he been on multiple he's different the teams. He that doesn't East make to the West. <laughs> he went from the West to the East. Bro, that doesn't make you a better player. If anything, you're making my argument. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nigga can't stand one team. <laughs> yeah, that's because they say he he he's too much of a dog. Yeah. That was it. <laughs> yeah. He had five times NBA. He had five times NBA. And if we want to get into it, <laughs> Minnesota was off all week. And Andrew Wiggins was soft as hell. How long he did the league? What was his first Big year? Big Cat, soft as hell. Years. Huh? He is. Just two dollars twelve. Mm-hmm. How you got the same amount of all stars as David Lillard? David Lillard came two years out. That's cool. He's playing Dame behind Dame Derrick Rose. Dame and he, he won a top pick. He wasn't playing behind Derrick Rose. He was. A, he won a top pick, bro. He was yeah, definitely. He, he was definitely playing like six men. So what? David Lillard wasn't a top pick. They drafted him to be a starter, though. Who was in front of Damian Lillard at point guard when he got drafted? Brandon Roy had just went out. Who was like in front of Jimmy Butler at shooting guard in Chicago? Did they have like Courtney Lee at the time or something like that? Courtney fucking Lee. Courtney fucking Lee. <laughs> Who the hell? Nobody. You can't even say if you can't run his name, he's a fucking. He had the clear path to start when he got drafted. Is it <laughs> Man, Dan Lillard came one year after Butler, and he got five just like Butler got five. I ain't feeling better though. How? how? What you mean how? Wow. Look at the numbers year by year, bro. Bro, Across just because you're a better scorer doesn't mean you're the a better player. The only thing Jimmy Butler, already told the only thing, G- the only thing Jimmy Butler probably averaged more than Damian Lillard is probably rebounds. That's literally the only stat that's going to be higher than, than Damian Lillard. Damian Lillard probably got higher. So you saying Damian Lillard is a better three. defender? Nah. Okay. I said rebounds, defensive rebounds and shit. Like I mean, but how can you measure defense on, on the stat? Bro, he got five All Star, two All NBAs, four All Defensive, and most improved player, 2014. Who? Jimmy. Then you know David Lillard just won Bubble MVP too. Don't forget that. That's cool. That's cool. MVP of the motherfucking Bubble man. He also got that boot in that Bubble too. Another oh. year. Okay. Damn, damn, damn Lillard wow. got five five All Stars, four All NBAs, and 2013 All Rookie. How many All NBAs? Four. How many you said Jimmy got? Four. Along with four defensive. That other side. No, he got, hey, my bad. He got two NBAs, two all NBAs, but along with four defensive. That other side. Along with five all. So he's a he better, most improved. He's a better defender. Damian Lillard ain't never need to get most improved. He was already a dog. That's cool, but Jimmy Butler was. You can't. You can't get thirty. Get, when you pick thirty, of course you don't get most improved, bro. Last pick. All right, NBA. so so why is you counting the award that you knew he was going to win? I mean, but like that, yeah, none of the shit y'all saying is telling me why he's better, bro. End of day, end of day, his birthday. Happy birthday, Jimmy Butler. 
Happy birthday, Jimmy, man. Keep doing you. Jimmy, that nigga tell y'all his mouth, he never let the day look. He would never say that. He would never. You're that's, crazy. That's what you do. He no brother, game. Please. Niggas, niggas, out there. niggas in the NBA no game. They're not going to disrespect Jimmy, another player. He's not going to look you in your face and tell you I'm a better basketball player yes, he would. than Damian Lillard. Yes, Are he you would. crazy? That's Jimmy Butler. What? Oh, yeah, now you don't know who Jimmy Butler is. That's a dog, bro. Bro, I don't he care told how much of a dog. Kobe is a dog. He Kobe told the Minnesota they were soft. What does that mean, bro? Y'all so, what you mean? Nobody on Minnesota is Damian Lillard. That's right. Jimmy Butler? When he was there. Man, he's not better than Damian Lillard, bro. And he took him to the AC. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that niggas making that shit right. Like, like it's like like it's the third Damian Lillard took his team to the third seat a year after losing three of his five starters, bro. That's cool. And they beat Houston that year too. Don't forget that on a buzzer beat. What was Minnesota this year? Mm-hmm. I don't what was they at the year before what, that? What was Philly this year? In the playoffs. Yeah, for out first round. They was in like a third seed. Out first round. Out first round. Out first round. Yeah, they were. Out first round. Where's Jimmy Butler? Where's Jimmy Butler? Western Con- I mean Eastern Conference right now. So that means he better than Damian Lillard. Yep. So he so he better than the B too. Yep. Yeah, he better than Embiid. He broke, to be honest, he brought the dog out in B when he was playing for Philly. He better than Joel Embiid. And Embiid wanted to keep Jimmy Butler. He did. That don't mean he better than him. He is better than Embiid. I'm taking, I'm taking Jimmy before Embiid. Right now, in today's NBA? Yes. <laughs> oh my God. You're not taking Jimmy over Embiid? Oh my God. I want you to get in it. You're not taking Jimmy over Embiid? B. B, E3. I hear you. <laughs> you taking Embiid over Jimmy? Shaq. You taking Embiid over Jimmy? Yes. Y'all niggas crazy. Like what? Yes. <laughs> Y'all niggas crazy. Jimmy oh, bro. Butler. Yes. Bro. Way better ass. Y'all yeah, know Jimmy Butler is the, the like. The second best, like after Kawhi, he's probably like the best two way in the league. I know that, right? Yeah. Like, you go, it's like Kawhi and Jimmy. No. You putting Paul George over Jimmy? You already know I'm putting Paul George over Jimmy. It ain't no such thing as playoff, dude. I don't even know why they gave him that nickname. They gave him that Bro, he dropped 35. He go goes. And then what happened after that? Jimmy is consistently balling. I think Jimmy had one game when he scored 13, but he was still all in the physical. Jimmy Butler's like the, he like the Cal Lowry or two off four. You're a guy. You're a dick or something. Yeah, that's the guy. You're a guy. He might have big games of 30, but he's not going to consistently give you like a 22 a game night. Though. He's exactly. not probably give you 13 or like every, what? 20-something. You're playing on right now. Making that point. I don't mean that, so he having he having more to live now. You don't have to. He plays defense, bro. Bro. When you play defense, you're not so gonna. So Gary Payton. So Gary. Hold on, hold on. So Gary. So Gary Payton. He only averaged 20 points this year. So Gary Payton better than Kevin Durant. Yeah. Gary Payton the better best player than Kevin Durant. That's not the same thing. How was that not the same thing? Because A. Kevin Durant plays small forward, so he plays all positions. B. What? Joel Embiid and um Joel Butler play different position. Joel Embiid can't stay healthy. This is Joel Embiid ain't got nothing to do with this. What do what? I compare the four guard to small four just like Jimmy Butler to Damian Lillard. Why like why we can't make that comparison? Because. So Gary Payton better than Kevin Durant. I just right? asked Kevin Durant is a highly skilled offensive player who is not, not who, your who, question. who defense is Kevin like Durant less than versus defense is elite who offense is like less. Wingspan, wing his defense is not, not lack, lackluster. Wingspan, his defense has got way better since he's been in Golden State. That's not he a gets three How many all defensive teams has Kevin Durant made? How many all defensive teams has Kevin Durant made? How many all defensive teams has Kevin Durant made? That's that's not a, that's not a good comparison. That's two different NBA. How? That's Kevin Durant and Kevin Durant. That's two different NBAs. We talking about Jimmy Butler. Is Gary Payton better than Jordan? No. Whoa. No. So how do you put that Jordan? Jordan got all defensive teams. Yeah. So what are you talking Jordan, about? Jordan played two ways Bro. too. Yeah, I'm crazy. So how so how Kevin Durant defense sweet? He ain't make no all defensive teams. 
Kevin Durant defense just got better this year. How many all defense teams? How many all defense teams? How many how many how many all defense teams you made? So now that so so now that don't matter. Listen, like I was just shouting. A lot of niggas was saying Kevin Durant won't better than Bron because he ain't play no defense. He's still not better than Bron. And now, now that he, he played defense. Now that he showed that he can play sides of defense. Like now that he showed that. What is that? Like, what? They what? What? They put it in. They put it in the, the conversation. Yeah. Bro, he been in the conversation. Niggas know he's not better than him. No, but like mm-hmm. it was indefinitive. Like LeBron is the best. He's still yeah. the best. Now yeah, niggas saying that. like it. No, no. when he was in Golden State, niggas was saying go, Kevin Durant is the best. Like, he, like, he, before he got injured, bro. LeBron James at 35 years old is better than Kevin Durant right now. Are y'all crazy? No, I'm not arguing that. But what I'm telling you is when he gave to Golden State, whoa, whoa, whoa. people now y'all yeah, wow. People say Kevin Durant better. Kevin Durant is better than LeBron right now. No. Not right, not right now because he's been injured. No, I'm t- I know what you mean. No, no, he's not, bro. But the last we seen of Kevin Durant, <laughs> that was better than Bron. I didn't say he was. The Bron just right. led the league in assists. That's cool. At 35, who was on Bron's team? That's cool. Kevin Durant had a stack deck. That's cool. That's LeBron. Yeah, AD this year. Exactly. LeBron has a triple double. Down there, triple double the playoffs, bro. That's that's fine, but Kevin that's Durant. Fine. That's Kevin Durant. Is the Slim Reaper is better than Bron? Cap. Oh my god. Cap. Yeah, four MVP. He, he's on his How many all NBAs? How many all defensive teams you talking? Yeah, he's going. Yeah, I'm I can't even argue with you though. You said Jimmy Butler is better than Lillard. I can't get off that. Yeah. No one, yeah, no one will say that besides probably Heat fans. And, yeah. I'm not a Heat fan. I just explained to you why. Can you check more positions? That don't mean you better, bro. He plays both sides of the ball. But he doesn't play the offensive side, bro. I'm t- it's like little offense, Jimmy offense. It's not even like what the what the world. But the nigga average twenty though. Who's little little average in the thirty, bro? You not like come on. It ain't like it ain't like yeah. It ain't like Jimmy average twenty and little average like twenty one. This nigga average like almost probably a smooth it's eight Dame to nine point points guy. more than him. It's Dame top three point guard. He's the best point guard in the league. No. Who a better point guard here right now? Steph Hurt. Who a better point guard here right now? Steph is still a better than him. Steph Hurt. Who a better point guard here right now? Uh, uh, Chris Paul. Stop. Stop. Chris Paul. Stop. 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 Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I got to step in. Man. Did you not see what Chris Paul did with OKC? That's, that's the point guard. The point guard? Yeah. I, I Bro, he's not Paul. better than Dane. Chris, Chris Paul, Paul better than Dane? I get Chris Paul. That name about a better score Chris Paul. That's it, Chris Paul was season, man. Yeah. 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 Like, you want your shit playing. You feel me? I've niggas been watching Portland these last couple years. I niggas that like, Portland has one all star. One. Who is CJ? He's not an all star. Did he make the all star team? When the last time he made the all star team? CJ, not I. When has he made the all star team, bro? I'm going by facts, bro. You're going by, you're going by personal, personal feelings. You feel like he's all star. I'm going by the literal facts. When is the last time he made the all star team? Wait, 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 wait. Tell me that. It's one all star in Portland, bro. They ain't loving that goes to the playoffs consistently. CP3 not the only. All-star on his team? In OKC? Yeah. Yeah. He he took them to the playoffs. SGA was on at All-Star yeah, Weekend this year, was he not? Did they go the first round? Was SGA that All-Star Weekend? Was SGA that All-Star Weekend? I don't think he was an All-Star game. No, he might have been He was in like the steel challenge. Nah, he was in the uh, team. So tell me how Chris Paul. So tell me how Chris Paul better than David. They both got booted. Tell me how he better. Please tell me how he better. That's, I mean, he got resume. Huh? That's a long resume. Right, I just think he's gonna wake up. I mean, he both got resume. The only thing, exactly, because you want to go back. That's the only thing. The only thing you're gonna say is Chris, Chris Paul long jersey. He's never averaged more points or none of them. Probably more six. Play more deep, bro. He play more deep than this. Wait, 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 Okay, so name a lackluster point guard that wouldn't name just straight dang. Niggas that straight dang be really like Steph, Russ, whoever they're doing. 
Like niggas who Chris Paul, like right? you know, like these niggas get shredded by niggas like they got a they got a weak backcourt. Nobody saying they don't got an elite backcourt on the offensive end, but they still get eight on defense. I bet you they have a little top ten too. Yeah. Chris Paul game Appreciate y'all for fucking with the Count Dead's podcast, man. We can go ahead and just right here. We're going to have to uh, have <laughs> this topic camera. Yeah. We're going to have to have this on. I'm just, you know, so, so you can fade it off or whatever. I don't know what you going to do. Fuck you got to figure it out. Amen. But yeah, you know, like, subscribe, all that shit. Appreciate y'all rocking with us. Definitely. Count up. Hey, good.